Hey guys, it's Commodore Lorenzo the third, and you've caught me. Well, I've started going zombie killing. Now I'm apologising for the lack of videos. I really just haven't quite got around to it. Um, what I'm showing you today is Left 4 Dead 2, my new addiction, and we're currently fighting a tank on the second level of the Dead Center campaign. This is a campaign that wasn't in the demo, so any of you that own the demo of Left 4 Dead 2 will not have seen this. Um, yeah. One of us just got knocked out by the deadly car. Some say it's more powerful than the sun. It certainly seems that way. Um, yeah. So we're just chasing the tank around. Now, some people have said, really, is Left 4 Dead 2 worth it? Surely, a lot of people say it's no different to Left 4 Dead 1. Admittedly, I'm in the half where I, I thought basically that they should have made Left 4 Dead 2 more of an expansion than a separate game but hey it's still addictive and it only cost me 20 quid because I bought it with three of my flatmates um, and we got a special deal getting it four for 80 quid so it was good um, so the tanks run inside which is a tiny bit scary it's sort of gone coward and then it's gonna pop out when I show my face here so I'm going to do not getting its way to be fair. Um, Hexidecimal is going to learn why you do not follow the tank into its little hidey hole in a minute. I'll show you. It's coming up very soon. Here it is. That's why you'll get a slap in the face. Now, he's just been charged, which is one of the new special infected. Unlike the old ones, you still got the hunter, the smoker, and the boomer. But you now have three others, which are the jockey, which is a sort of is kind of it very does very little damage, but can be useful on ledge levels where you can it essentially rides you in a very sort of sexual way. I just killed a spitter. I'll explain that later. That green shit uh, exponentially hurts you. So the longer you stand in it, the more damage it's going to do, and it's damn useful to get rid of corner camping. Um, so the jockey basically rides you and then directs you where it wants to go so that can be directing you off ledges into fire or spit or just away from your allies making you difficult to reach um, and the other one is the charger which you saw early which is a um, it has a huge right arm but a tiny straggly left arm and it's 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 quite disturbing, but it'll essentially hit you and then carry you about 80 yards or something ridiculous. And it'll hurt a lot. And it does ridiculous amounts of damage after as it stops and pounds you into the ground. Um, yeah, it's not looking good, but what you saw there was me ridiculously spamming a melee weapon to prevent any horde getting rid of me. And when I say the melee weapons are ridiculously strong, I mean it. These things kick ass. If you hit a tank in the back with a melee weapon, it'll take off about a sixth of its health. It's that strong. It has to be in the back though, but yeah. So you've got about nine melee weapons, which replace the secondary weapons of usual pistols. And you've also got included, as well as the dual pistols, you can actually have a magnum which is really good. I cannot stress how good the Magnum is. And personal favourite secondary weapon actually. Um, yeah, there's a jockey. Looks pretty disgusting. Sort of like me when I get up from a bad night out. But um, I'm about to get hunted here. Ow. And as you can see, Hunter still does the usual job of ripping your guts out a in a ridiculously strong way. Okay, so I'm healing, but I shouldn't really have healed here because they couldn't cover me, but whatever. I'm alright. So, you, yeah. Also, the campaigns are a bit different in Left 4 Dead 2. They're a bit longer and the scoring system's a bit different. Here's another melee weapon, the crowbar, which is a stronger damage but has less swing so you'll hit less zombies in the same swing as you may with 
a baseball bat or an axe or a katana. Okay, you're going to get a bit of lag. This is on my laptop, so it's shite. My desktop computer is so much better, but, uh, you know. Okay, now I'm going to Molotov, which actually kills my friend, sort of, because the jockey leads it into the fire. So that's a good example of the jockey doing its job. But it's all right. I managed to kill the jockey on top of him with the fire, to be fair. So we get him up. Um, oh, yeah, another new thing new weapons, new equipment. So what I'm about to pick up is a nice little defib unit which will resurrect dead teammates. You can get uh, another grenade type which is a boomer bile which will attract zombies to some boomer bile you lay on, basically throw at the floor. And we have new weapons like this sweet grenade launcher which is a beast of a gun. I mean is literally just oh, heavenly. Decimates large groups of zombies in about no, it won't be well one anyway. shot. Um, you there's three of each rather than just having one big assault rifle. They've got now three, and they got uh, two auto shotguns and two snipers. So that's quite a few new weapons, including another two first like first level shotguns, I think called level 1 shotguns and such. And yeah, it's a pretty damn good game. I really, really recommend it. Now I'm going to fail here. I don't know why, but I pull out my defib. And then he gets hunted. So I'm going to go save this guy. And um, with my laptop running and then recording as well, it's a bit difficult. But I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm just going to show you the Jesus trick to finish off my little go. Observe as I resurrect the dead Mich Rochelle, or USA, Hexy Decimal, who keeps seeming to get in trouble. And now I'm going to say goodbye as I get whisked away by a handsome young man. Goodbye, everyone.